except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This Gospel from John chapter 14 is one that we often hear, and especially in the context of, of funerals and and celebrations where we're mindful that indeed our hearts need not be troubled um, because Jesus is the way, the truth, the life, it's everything. However, we often forget that there's a character in here that we're really invited to kind of zero in on when we, every time we hear this gospel. And the character is Thomas. And we hear of Thomas a number of times in the Gospel of John. We certainly heard of Thomas when he basically doubts that Jesus has risen and, and says, I need to touch his wounds in order to believe. And so again, Thomas is in a bit of doubt even in this gospel here, even with Jesus. But here in this gospel, we see a Thomas who really is an apostle whose character or personality we see a little more clearly in today's gospel. And it's an it's apostle who's willing to speak his mind. It's an apostle who's willing to question the rabbi, the master, his lord. And I can't help but tell you that in the ancient world, that would have taken a lot of guts. So when Jesus says, you know, I am the way, the truth, and the life, you know where I am going. And Thomas speaks up and he says, not really, I don't know where you're going. And Jesus delights in the question. Jesus delights in Thomas speaking his mind because Thomas is one who's now taking it all in. He's opened his life to something deeper, something more. And so what Thomas does here in being snarky and speaking his mind and questioning, he's now opened his mind to another way of being and living his discipleship with Jesus. And he's not afraid to ask the question and to ask for direction. This is a God who wants to give us direction. For we find that Jesus answers Thomas' question by saying, yeah, I can help you with direction. I can tell you where you need to go. And it's to Jesus. Jesus is that way. He becomes the way, the vehicle to the truth and to the fullness of life. So today, even in our own prayer, I really think God wants to entertain our questions. He's okay with us asking for some more direction whatever's going on in our life, in our heart, in our spiritual life. To never feel bashful about asking for direction. For indeed, he is the way, the truth, and the life. 